Yo, top of the motherfucking top, you know what I mean? Like, uh, it's your boy Loaf Life Manny, formerly known as OG Manny Brim. You know, I stay with the Reds. That's my shit. That's who I fuck with. That's that's my lifestyle. That's my culture, man. You feel me? But I don't actively gang bang. I'm just here to let y'all know that. You feel me? But this right here is kind of trouble to me, man, because... I thought that we grew past the ignorance, the stupidity, the people just, you know, blatant disrespect. But I see rowdy rebels, outbursts, got these little cripplets going crazy out here. They 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 they, they run around looking like little niggas, little little gremlins and shit, you feel me, dancing in their videos and their songs. I mean all of that all of that all of that shit look good. It's, it's for views. But, but but check this out. It's got to be some... Hold up. First and foremost, let's see. Let's look at this fucking bozo. You know, look at this bozo right here. Look at this bozo. Look. look at her. She looking like a little... She look like a little troll. Slash, look, look at she dancing. Look at her dancing, dude. Look at her. Look at, her. Look at, her. Look at these new crips. This is your crew. Oh, shit, man. All right, check it out, man. Like, this is your new Crips. You feel me? Your Crip Pets. Bitch with a yellow shirt. She confused. She got on a, a red do-rag, a red bandana on her head. She got a yellow shirt on, right? And she, she, she's throwing gang signs that she don't know how to throw up. That's for one. You feel me? Like, I don't know what she was throwing down. You know, it looked like it was a bull's head. It looked like, a, you know, the big brim symbol. But then she didn't even throw it all the way down. So it's like I'm trying to figure out what type of gangbanging she's doing. She she, she almost, um, you know, she looked like a fucking retarded little gremlin. You feel me? Like, gremlins is already ugly. You feel me? So like, at least if you gonna disrespect the gang and you and you fucking at least do the right gang signs, at least uh, look good when you're doing it, and at least have a reason for doing it. Like you you doing this for clout? You doing this to chase? We trying to understand this right now. People talk to me because um, she look like she walks. We definitely know that she walked right. We we definitely know that she's a fucking bum, you know. What I mean, she had nothing on that uh, that appeared to be, you feel me, you know, designer or expensive, you know. What I mean, and um, she had a mustache. Let's hold up, hold up. Let's rewind this shit, please. Can we rewind this shit? You feel what I'm saying? Let's, let's got a mustache. Look at the 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 mustache. Oh, shit, it's not a good, but we gon' we gonna zoom in on that shit. Y'all can see the mustache. That shit almost as thick as mine. You feel me? So either she got she she mixed breed. She she crip slash rat slash squirrel slash gremlin slash who the fuck do you think you are in New York disrespecting a whole army? You little troll slash pay half dressing slash I take the bus, I take the cab, I take the train ass slash yo somebody give her a ship. I mean for real man, y'all niggas better throw her some motherfucking uh extra blue chips, blue notes, and, and put her on the right ship. Because right now she about to sink. She on her way to the motherfucking bottom of the Atlantic Ocean, you heard? Pacific Ocean, she's in whatever oceans y'all like to sell in, she's about to go all the way to the bottom, you heard? So, 
We need to know what set she claimed. We need to know where she lived. We need to know who is in control of that that little um I don't even know what the fuck you call shit that look like that. Like humbly, respectfully, rowdy, control your people. You know what I mean? Cause when you start making outbursts like like you making everybody start thinking they could do that. And they know on the East Coast who run this shit over here. They know in the penitentiary what will happen. Like, so, like, somebody reach out. Somebody take that video down. Somebody check that little, yo, because if we going to do that, we could do that. If we going to get disrespectful, we could get disrespectful. You feel me? But somebody that looks like that. I don't think she's ready to 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 die. Matter of fact, she looked ready to die. She looks ready and capable of, you feel me, you know, not caring. We we can see she don't care. But she looks young. She looks like she's about 19, 20, probably. You feel me? 21, some shit like that, 23. Even if you is older, we know mentally you not there. You know what I mean? Cause nobody does that. No, nobody does that. It's 2024. You know what I mean? This shit too real. You heard? And um, I'm asking nicely, politely, because I can get up here and start disrespecting too. And I'm not going to do that because I'm a grown OG who's retired, who just feel away. I just feel like, you know, to, to for everybody to be coming out here and to kick in peace and, and trying to change the direction of gang banging for you for you to have a a, a um a mental midget get on 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 YouTube in New York, you feel me, and drop the army. You heard you dropping the army, you know. I don't think you really know what you're doing. I don't even think that your G F or your O G or your big well uh, 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 your big sig, what, whatever the fuck you call it, I don't even think they condone that shit. You in your room dancing, disrespecting a whole movement, a whole army of people who don't know you, who who, who never did nothing to you. You understand what I'm saying? Like it's almost as idiotic as what Rowdy just did. Like. You, you, you be conscious. Just be conscious. We don't give two fucks about you, your gang, your set, your clique. Everybody out here is trying to get a dollar, take care of their responsibilities, and stay the fuck out the way. Why do you want to be in the way? Why do you want the spotlight? Why do you want a red dot special? Why do you want that? That is the can you answer that? Um whoever you are, because I don't even know your name. Like I just call you the reject crip cripplet. Reject cripplet. This is to the reject cripplet. You feel me? You know, maybe we'll figure it out. You know what I mean? But I'ma spend too much time because I gotta get into Rowdy Rebel. I gotta get into his situation. You feel me? And um, we got to talk about this shit. We got to really figure it out, people. Why is it that... The, is it the is it the K2? It might be the K2. It might be the paper plane. It might be the K2. It might be the fentanyl pills. It might be... Uh, people just ready to die. Maybe that's just it. Maybe this is... Maybe 2025. People from YouTube and people from the Instagram are just signing over their life. They like, fuck it. We we just don't want to be here no more. Is that what's going on for 2025? Rowdy Rebel, is you setting this new trend? Is this the new trend? We need to know. We we trying to figure it out. Is this the new fucking trend? You know what I mean? Because um, we got to get into this shit. I, I don't think... I think everybody that's here knows what I'm saying. You feel what I'm saying? Because... um. Because we don't do shit like this. Like, this is just not something that we do. We just don't do that. We we try to, we try to, you know, you know, 
as adults, as real right leaders, we trying to guide the people into a different direction. You feel what I'm saying? And that direction is success. Why, why, why niggas so comfortable with being broke? Why people so, so comfortable with not having shit? You feel what I'm saying? Word. So, you know, we're going to get into this next topic, though, because this is more important. So I want y'all to tune in. And this is serious. Confronts. This is serious. Rowdy Rebel. Now as a native New Yorker. This is real shit. I know. Rowdy Rebel did bad. So tune in. All of us native New Yorkers know that Rowdy did bad. Just for the simple fact is, they killed your homie. Pop smoke. You left L.A. So while you dancing, while you all in the videos, dancing and shit, throwing down hats, y'all niggas need to be getting out there to California. Niggas need to be getting in a car, going out there, pulling up on 52nd and Figueroa, pulling up out there on 59th and Figueroa. Y'all need to get out there in Cali in LA. Look at this clown. He's a clown right here. This guy right here is a clown. He he screaming out Treyway. He fucking far do smooth a crib from LA. What type of dick rider is you, homie? Look at this nigga. Alshon Martin, who was a known you know I mean? from South you know, Central Los Yo, Angeles. free my nigga Daffy Wu, man. Free Daffy Wu. Pop Smoke, one of Pop Smoke's right hand man. You feel me? Shout out to Lucky Luciano, Bobby Schmurda, and Rowdy, man. But I, I, you know, I'm going to talk my shit, Rowdy. I, I'm about to talk my shit, you know. But look at this clown. This is a clown right here. He's disloyal as they come. Well, man, disloyal, you bitch ass nigga. By saying fuck LA, suck my dick. He posted it in the story on now Instagram. Now that was some type of tough shit. It's supposed you to be tough, the I guess. Last person, Al Shaman, that we want to hear from. You have no credibility. You lost your credibility when you called Shadi a snitch. You threw a rag jacket on a man. That's now, how I feel about Wack 100. Look like boy, fuck Shadi, big headed ass, yeah. Hey, Shadi a snitch. I'm letting y'all know that. Shadi is a straight snitch. Shadi is corroborating. That's what they said in court. He corroborated. Let me see. Uh, Shadi corroborating right now. What's up? Yeah, y'all want to know what's up? I'm going to have the paperwork soon, so I'm going to let my line know. I will have the paperwork soon. Look, like, he sound Shady. like a lying bozo ass nigga looking for clout. I'm in South Central LA, though. Like, How are you jacking that you were over? But yet... You was wearing a non-trade chain. Billy Otto said it out his own mouth. Say non-trade, non-trade gets the blood. You got a trade chain with non-trade and you represent a blood gang and you will keep my name out of your mouth. That's the lamest shit. And then when they went, when shit gets tough and the bros get locked up, you first of all, you wouldn't even be known if it wasn't for Shadi. Welcomed you with open arms. Flew you out here to New York, gave you a place to stay, made you, Shadi and, and Treyway, they made you, man. And now you on the internet, six years later, you cloud chasing. We still waiting on that paperwork that you accused Shadi of being a rat. The least you could have did was, you know, write on some letters or, you know, show some support. You know, some some commissary, you ain't doing none of that. You moved on to the next wave, you dick ride and went to the next niggas that was hot. Niggas like you can't be trusted. I don't want to be associated with niggas like you. When Shadi and Trey was fighting the indictment, and they needed lawyers to get the feds off their ass, what did you do? You turned around and you sold the non-Trey, Trey chain that Shadi blessed you with. Listen, it's a motherfucking public service announcement. I'm selling my Treyway chain. The shit real was made by Jenny Boy. Like Billy Otto say, I am not Treyway. Billy Otto, you want this motherfucker? Who want this motherfucker? Best offer y'all can have this motherfucker. I do not want my Treyway chain no more. Y'all can have this motherfucker. It's Cabano Records, man. Viral gang, you feel me? So whoever wants to buy this motherfucker, hit me up right now. Y'all can have this motherfucker. Add DJ Hack 
academics, academics, you want this shit, you gotta have this shit, man. Hit me up. Trayway chain for motherfucking sale. Big niggas like you come around. I sense that shit quick and I'll cut them right the fuck off. All right, we're going to fast forward this shit a little bit. And make sure you at studio time. Make yeah. sure you at a place to stay. Fool you out here in New York. When it was time to talk business. And as soon as they get indicted, you separate yourself from them. You with this royal motherfucker, man. We know Robbie did bad. But you're the last person we want to hear that shit from. I want y'all to get in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think about this man. Don't forget to hit that like button. Share, subscribe, I'm out. Ready, go. What is Get to it. Get to it. Fuck LA, suck my dick. Or fuck her. LA, suck my dick. Or who will suck my dick. What, like, what's your motive? Because, like, I'm trying to get an understanding. Like, what is your motive, for real? You've been to LA how many times since you've been home? You know what I'm saying? Out of nowhere, out the blue, you just say fuck LA, fuck all for LA suck my dick, hoes, all hoes suck my dick. But, you know, uh, I don't think you know what you're doing, huh? I, I don't think you know what you're doing. And um, I think you're doing this shit for likes and views. That's what I think you're doing. Me personally, it's for likes and views, but I, you, you don't know what you're doing, bro. Because at the end of the day, let me make this shit clear. That shit that happened with Pop Smoke, that shit was an accident, nigga. That shit that happened with Pop Smoke was an accident. Ain't no hoovers put out no motherfucking hit on Pop Smoke. That wasn't no call or no hit out on, on no nigga, bro. That's not what that is. So, why you acting like you can't get at no hoovers, bro? There's plenty of homies in New York, plenty of homies in Brooklyn, plenty of homies in Long Island, plenty of homies in Jersey. Why, nigga? Because I've been living out there for six years. Since my career, bro. So at the end of the day, you ain't ready to die, nigga. So I'm acting like you ready to die, nigga. I'm not ready to die. Nigga, that was a Biggie Smalls album, nigga. And he wasn't even ready to die. Nigga, 50 Cent had get bitch to die trying. That nigga ain't ready to die, bro. So all you rap niggas, stop acting like you right. ready to die. Bro, this is, my, this is my question. What is your motive, my nigga, by saying all of L.A.'s Suck my dick, or oh, Hoover suck my dick. That's that's what I know what's your motive because Hoover's ain't never had no problem with no GS9. Never. My big homie Boss off, who started Fidos, okay, been fucking with you niggas since y'all was G Stones, nigga. Since y'all niggas was G Stones back in 1995 with your big homie Psych Bite, nigga. I know this because I've been thugging in New York for six years now. All the homies. And my whole thing is, so what's your motive? Because ain't no Hoover said nothing to, about you. Ain't no Hoover's disrespect you. Ain't no Hoover's disrespect Pop Smoke. So what is your motive by saying, L.A. suck my dick, all the Hoover suck my dick? That's what niggas want to know. Hey, yo. See, check it out, man. I respect that brother right there. You know why I respect him? Because he came respectfully on this shit. You feel me? He, he's showing the world, you know, a, a sucker nigga. Al, Al Sean Martin, a, a sucker. Stone Cold Switcher, Switch Shotter, a hook. Anything that you could think about that nigga is. You feel me? Al Sean Martin, you heard? This law, you bitch made untrustworthy. You feel what I'm saying? He's a nigga that you don't and can't rely on. I don't know who's jacking them in their gang or in their crew right now, but get rid of them. You feel what I'm saying? Because if he switched on one, he'll switch on you. You understand what I'm saying? And, and 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 I'm not really for sure who this brother is, but it looked like he's Hoover, and he's and he's looking for a clarification. That's that's it. See, this is what real men do. What that brother's doing right here is what real men do. We look. For clarification, we got to figure out what's the nigga motive. You understand what I'm saying? You can't just jump in the deep end because, you know, a, a motherfucker could be going through some mental shit. You know what I mean? Rowdy Rowdy might be going through some real depression shit, some real traumatized. He could be he could be feeling like the world, is it, it, it don't even matter no more to him. You know what I mean? And that's what other brothers got to be conscious of. But what Rowdy got to be conscious of is, is a million motherfuckers that's doing worse than him. 
that ain't that that's really ready to die. You feel what I'm saying? And like and like the brother said, you know, I'm tapping in on this topic right here because I'm tired of the fake phony shit too. All these fucking rappers talking about murders and death and killing and popping pills and drinking and half of them don't even do this shit. Half of them is married, half of them got families, half of them is motherfucking, ain't never been to jail before, they talking about their man's life or the gang of niggas that's behind them, and you got motherfuckers like me who did 23 years in prison, you know what I mean, that's striving and struggling, that's always trying to keep an educational, you know what I mean, demeanor and an uplifting demeanor because guess what, a motherfucker done lived that pain and that struggle and that hardship for so long, a motherfucker just want to do something right now. You've been doing wrong so much, it, it, it pushes you to do right. You understand what I'm saying? And you got these weirdo-ass motherfuckers like that little-ass, crippled, cripple, dusty bitch that we seen on there. You know what I mean? Took my hats down and, 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 and uh, take the hat off and all that. It, like, you, you, you don't know what you're doing. You asking for drama that could come from any angle from a rowdy. Come on, brother. You've been up north. You've been in the field. You outside. Cool, but you're not untouchable. That's one. Two, your gang is not big enough. And New York is not big enough. So to go against a, a, a whole city that's been over 60 years pushing forward, you know what I mean? To, to, to even... It's, it's, it's suicide, brother. You, you, you're committing... Suicide, man. Like, come on. You address those who are involved. Now, I could respect it if you would have came out there and pulled up out there on Figaro on 52nd. If you would have pulled up on Normandy. If you put on Weston. If you would have pulled them on all, any of those blocks on 59th or 52nd or all the way up from the 40s to the 100s. If you would have did that in L.A., jumped out of the V with all of the GS9s or even by yourself. Who gives a fuck how you did it? Or how many was involved if you would have did that and it had the who was on set and said, fuck you niggas, eat a dick. You feel me? Not suck my dick because that's homo tendencies. You don't want another man sucking your dick. That's one. I don't invite niggas to the Frank stand because I'm not a homo. So if you want to eat a dick, you can go eat somebody else's dick, but it won't be mine. You dig what I'm saying? But to get on to that, you SMD the whole West Coast. Did you even take account of listening or understanding that now you got Bobby, Fetty, you got the whole GS9, everybody that associates and affiliate with y'all, now they can't perform out there. Now they got to either choose your side or to get their money. Are you stopping niggas? Is it a beef internally? Like... I want to know what's going on with you now, cause I, I'm 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 kind of like at one part of me, my my younger side. If I was a kid, I'd have been like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how you do it. That's how you put on. I wouldn't have been saying fuck the West Coast, cause I lived in Cali. And my family out there. I love Cali. Cali, my second home. You feel me? Shout out to Oak Town, o Oakland. Shout out to L.A. Shout out to Dago, Sac, Sac Town. You know what I'm saying? Oak Park, Meta Views, everywhere around. You feel me? I'm low. I'm nationwide and worldwide with this shit, with this Bremen. You heard? Like so, I've been in Dago. I've been on the turf. I've been there. You feel me? So we gonna chill, we gonna we gonna um fuck. It ain't about me right now. We gonna stick on the topic. The topic is. Nobody's crazy enough to do what Rowdy did. And 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 I mean that's that's crazy stupid. It's not smart. Your man just got his head pushed back. Pop smoke got his head popped off. You understand what I'm saying? And 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 going to a, a Airbnb out there in Cali, you feel me? Like and by some little niggas, some young niggas did that shit. So it's like it's like you get you go worldwide and you say this shit nation. Nigga, you was better off just getting an all black, dressing up, laying, coming out there, getting a bitch out there, or, or finding an OG blood nigga out there that you locked in with that you could pay a couple dollars to, you feel me? And and, and teaming up with them and, and getting the getting the job done the real way, you feel me? Like real gangsters do real gangster shit, man. You doing some entertainment slash 
clout chasing slash I want to die for no reason type shit. You feel me? Like, I mean, I get it. Pop Smoke, your man. Pop Smoke, your man. Pop Smoke, you loved him. He he had a good music. He had a little good rain. Niggas took him. It was too short. They took him. That's streets, though, bro. That was real life. That was streets. That's not, that's not entertainment. That's not social media. That's not out loud. That was underground hit. You feel me, Rowdy? Like, like, look, look, I'm not a crip, but I'm your big bro. You feel me? Fetty Luciano, Bobby Smurder, they, they, you know what I mean? I had my run-ins. Like I said, me and Fetty, your brother, that's my mans. We was next door to each other in downstate. I the one who held him, flash all of them down after niggas pushed it on him and niggas tried to get Bobby out the way. You know what I mean? My name is OG Manny Brem again. You feel me? You know my little buzzing, Day Day. You know my other buzzing, Lil Richie. You feel me? Like, my peoples and your peoples is linked, but we not a lot allies to the level of taking on the whole West Coast drama. You feel me? Unless it makes sense. You feel me? So what I'm telling you is that you feel me? You got to explain to everybody. You got to explain to everybody, not just the West Coast, but you got to explain to us too. You feel me? Us on the East, because we trying to figure out what the fuck is going on. We don't know what your motive is, why you did what you did. We, like, we know it's over Pop Smoke death. We know that. But what we don't know is why you make that move like that. Like, what encouraged you? That's not a strategic, it's not calculated, it's not a, you know, that's a element, it's not an element of surprise. What that shit is emotionally driven outbursts that come from alcoholism. You feel me? Like, you, do you got to go to Alcohol Anonymous, uh, Rowdy? Do we got to check you in, bro? Because cause if that's the case, you got to check in, you got to tap in with Bobby. You got to tap in with some of the big homies. Tap in, tap in with, 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 with anybody from the West Coast or anybody from the East Coast that, that's, that's um, you know, 50 Cent, somebody somebody that that got some money that can make some noise and put some, you know what I mean? I don't know who, who all is. You know, Dave East probably your best hope, you feel me? And, and I don't think them Harlem 30 niggas want nothing to do with that shit either. You know what I mean? Because the Hoovers in the 30s and start going to war in Cali, I don't think they want to go to war over you. And, and, and Davies, I you know Davies is is a real respectable nigga. He he never been disrespectful. He keep that hood. They popping out here for the thirties and all of that. We know all of that is mad respect and and it's given. You know it's no disrespect, but Rowdy, you, you're crossing the lines. Niggas is united east and west now. It's not like back in the nineties and the millennium, bro. Niggas is really tapping in. So this shit could get real nasty. It could get uglier than what it is and what it appears. You understand what I'm saying? And that's why you got brothers like myself who's concerned. You feel me? I'm concerned. I got Bobby last year doing this dumb shit with NBA Youngboy. Then you doing this shit with a whole fucking coast. You understand what I'm saying? Like, y'all niggas, what's up with y'all? Like, y'all don't like y'all millions or something, man? Like, serious. You know what I mean? Tap in. Let me know. If you don't want a couple of the millions, you can pass them shits over before you go. You heard? Because if it, that's what's... Listen. I hate to say this, but I'm so real with this shit. You know what I mean? And, and I love the East Coast. I love my New Yorkers. I love my New Yorkers, you heard? But when it comes to gangbanging, we're not even on a... Like... You feel what I'm saying? Like, yeah, we we individuals, we put I put in work, you put in work, a couple of us got reputations. History, but you're talking about a coast of people that's raised from nine years old, trained to kill. Like, it's a no-brainer. Niggas is dying over a block. Niggas is dying over a color for real, for real in LA. Like, you feel me? Niggas out here is teams, crews. You got Bloods and Crips together out here, like, you feel me? Whatever crew, whatever team you got, whatever brother, whatever projects, you know what I mean? Niggas is not aligned and structured and organized like a, like fucking a machine the way it is out there. Like, so 
we got to really, really be aware of what we doing and what we saying. You feel me? And I'm telling you this, boy. Once all them gangs tap in and they get to that, it's going to be a training day situation for you, bro. Straight training day situation. You seen what happened to the nigga? You know what I mean? At the end, they all tapped in. Oh, we know that nigga owed them people money. Yeah, all right. Well, yeah. We ain't got no help for you. You don't want that, Rowdy. You want niggas to be in your corner. Because right now, when that heat get turned up, niggas is not following you, nigga. That's the truth. Niggas is not following you. Niggas going to be like, oops. Oh, that niggas. I ain't got nothing to do with it. And if they don't do it in front of you, they're going to do it behind your back. So now you got to watch who. Now you're going to see who your real friends is. You know what I'm saying? And I hope that, you know, this shit can be resolved on a different level. But 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 how Wack 100 is playing this bitch ass nigga. Yo, Wack 100 is one of the most greasiest, suckerish, cornballers, rat ass niggas that I know who promote all type of sucker shit. I don't know why that nigga got, how they get that nigga money, bro. Word. Yeah, all right, you squabbled, you did a little thing or two, you probably did a little jail bit or two, but your, your character, you like a borderline rat snake sucker. Like, you 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 see some shit, instead of trying to help the young brothers, you know, better their life and, and, and get around certain shit, you want to advocate and promote some shit that'll cause a war. Like, who does that, G? Because you good, because you got a couple M's. You got a disgusting character, and you supposed to be a blood, nigga. You supposed to be representing this thing that bring bloods, bring brothers together to uplift black people, to bring, you know, the, 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 you 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 want to promote a West Coast, East Coast tyrant. You know what I mean? You see the young brother just lost one of his homies. You feel me? He fell away. And this is to the whole West Coast. So I'm going to speak for Rowdy, being that nobody else going to speak for him, and being that I already know how he going to give it up. Because he's a New York arrogant cocky nigga. So he not about to apologize. And if he do apologize, shit, man. You know what I mean? Fuck it then. You know what I mean? That mean that he grown. That mean that he matured and shit. You feel me? But I know from this experience myself. You hear me? When a nigga SMD, it ain't no take backs. When a nigga kill your homie, ain't no take backs. When a nigga do something to you and it's called betrayal, disloyalty, or cause bodily harm, it ain't no take backs. You understand what I'm saying? That's all G facts. So at the end of the day, you know what I mean? Like, he could be a man and be mature and apologize, but at the end of the day, is anybody going to take that apology sincere? Or is that already pushed? You feel me? So I'm for, for Rowdy. I'm going to express what I believe he felt. I believe that he was out there drinking after all this exposure of pop smoke and everybody playing games with Fabio Foreman and everything else. I believe that that brother came out there, like they said, he pulled up. He came out there with his with his mom. So he came out there with a mission, with a plan. I don't know if it was to get clout chasing. I don't know if it was for a, a, a social media hype. I don't know what it was for. But we know he popped out and he showed up. So that means that he wasn't playing. And, and whatever, whatever Hoovers that was out there, if y'all got the messages, y'all tapped in, y'all would have been on deck. And I'm sure that y'all don't got no problem with being on deck. But my thing is, is this. He was there. You heard? Now, what he did after, when leaving, was extreme. Cause, cause you don't, you don't invite a coast, and I don't believe that he meant that. I believe that he was saying, "I, right, I'm out here in LA. I'm, I'm woo, 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 woo this. I'm outside. You feel me? But yeah, fuck you, Hoovers. I think that's what he really meant. I don't think he meant fuck the whole every gang, every blood crit. I don't think he meant that. I think he spoke with with anger. I think he spoke with frustration. I think he spoke, he spoke stupidly. And I think ignorantly, but um, I don't think he was uh, going after a whole coast. I don't think he was going after every gang. That's called suicide. That's called suicide. That's not homicidal, that's suicidal. So you understand what I'm saying? So so me, as a big bro from the East, 
you know what I mean, uh, from, from, from wanting to see more peace than war, I'm going to tell y'all like this, you know what I mean, if you hoover and, and, and you feel away, you know what I mean, check in with that nigga and do what y'all do, you know what I mean, ain't nobody trying to come in between, you feel me, getting your lick back, you heard, but when it comes to everybody trying to boss up on a nigga like Rowdy, like, you know what I mean, like, you know, niggas ain't going to tolerate that either. You feel me? That's oppression. So, you feel me? Tap in. Let a nigga know. Yo, Rowdy. Check in. Holla at me. Let me get an interview or something with you. You feel me? Because I need to know what's going on. And whoop that 59 times. It's your boy, Loaf Life Manny, a.k.a. OG Manny Brun. You already know what it is, man. Prime time? You know it. That way.